not really troubleshooting, but uh, we got a John Deere 750L. Just need to install a modem. The modem's useful for a few different things. Um, one, you can connect to the state network, or two, we can connect to your machine and fix it anywhere in the world via computer. Okay, for a modem install, all you really have to do is determine where you're going to put it. And it's going to have to be wired into the B cable. So, let's figure out where is a good spot to put it where it's not going to get knocked and banged by the seat. There's not a whole lot of good spots here, but I'm thinking right here would be fine. Bring the cable back and drop it down, which would be fine. We can Velcro it right down there. So just a little bit of Velcro. And uh, we have to take that uh, MCR3 off. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. It doesn't even have the rubber boots over it. Looks like they just kind of made their own cables. That radio cable is going to go bad. And the way they have this mounted upside down, you can see where the seat's smashing into it. Well, anyway, uh, let's get started. We just need this off the beacon. And the way this modem gets installed, basically just straight into the uh, B plug. You just remove uh, number six all the way to 36, so these first four and then 37, 38, 37 should be your power, 38 should be your ground, and uh, those will be your modem. And it draws its power straight from the box, so. Okay, so basically, um, number six is gonna be uh, green with white line, the next one over is solid green. Next one over is white with orange. And next one over is solid orange. And then you have your red in 37, I think it is. And then uh, black in 38. And you should see a data light. You should also see status lights. Now all we have to do is load eyesight and get it up and running. We have to put this back together. They didn't have any uh, rubber boots on it to protect these wires so um, we're gonna have to figure out something for this because that's just gonna tear all those wires up down there. So we'll secure it somehow. There we go. That should suffice because it's facing upside down and the wires are rubbing down there so um, don't want anything to get damaged and yanked out, especially my work. Not sure why they even installed that without the rubber boots, but uh, anyway, so we got our modem set up, so uh, let's put it back together, get it up and running. Okay, we're all wired up. We have power, we have data. Now let's install the uh, eyesight. See if I got my pen on me. I do. Device, USB. There's the program right there. We're gonna open. And you really don't, you really don't see anything happen other than it kind of like blinks and changes. It's really quick. Exit, come down here. Look for the little marble, basically. hit configure status and you see it says Moby control connected to blah 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 remote control connected so it is connected general status general status says connected now it's been assigned on the other side. 
of the wire. So basically we're all set here. Um, power down. Give it a few. <laughs> all right, so you bring it back up. And you gotta give it a few minutes for it to connect, but you should see a green data light and you should see uh, power lights coming on as soon as the system powers up. There it goes. <laughs> and there's the lights. All right, so once it comes up, it's gonna wanna go into the 3DMC. You're gonna have to get back out. Cancel. Exit. Go to start. Go to the little marble again. And you're just basically going to sit here and wait until that says connected. It says status disconnected. And if it connects, good. So we'll see. And our status is connected. So our modem is a good modem. And we are connected. So basically, with that, we could actually go, uh, instead of using a base, we can actually go network. We can use the state's network. Um, it's not as accurate as a base, but it is an option. And uh, also, like I said, we can actually Moby control into this device.